So one of the most common requests that come up for macro support is the ability to translate data into another application or summarize it for another purpose. For example, like generating a quotation for a customer based on an active bill of materials. And this can be done in any number of ways, but uh, we've just got an example here where we have a, a quotation template that's in Microsoft Word. And we've just set up some variables or some text within here that we're going to find and replace to su um, synchronize data from Excel to there upon export. And then we have an Excel document over here, which if we look at the visual basic of this, we have a workbook uh, set of macros that um, basically this is all that's required. So it opens up an Excel document, the template in this particular case, looks for specific data that's being generated by NitroBomb and computed through Power Query to basically pass that information to Excel in the end and then close the Excel document, uh, excuse me, close the Word document out when it's completed and save it to a new file name uh, to the directory that's there. So uh, I'm going to close uh, Word for now, and uh, let's just slide this over here. And then we have our qu kind of quotes folder. So new quotations will be dropping in here. To get a macro to run from NitroBomb, all you have to do is come to the Excel options and say, I want to um, run a particular macro that is in Excel. And it's either a workbook macro, which is typically what most people do, or it's an application uh, module uh, that has been uh, associated with the workbook in some way. Uh, another nice option that we added in here is the ability to kind of include um, the ability to select tabs when complete. So um, if you have a, a report like this that you want to come and, and view when you're finished, you could just say, uh, quote, uh, whoops, Q-U-O-T-E, quote summary. So that's going to be the name of the worksheet that's selected when all this is finished. And it's always a good idea to make sure that Excel tables and queries are refreshed upon uh, export. Uh, before you do any other macros, just make sure all your data is in sync. So this is actually running a, an export of the current builds materials. And uh, then it's running the create, create quote macro right now, of which you can see here that it's actually populating uh, the table data that was computed over here. And it generated a new quotation file. So if we take a look at this quote file that's generated, we'll notice that uh, it's bringing over the assembly number, the total cost projected, a detailed list of the items going to be required and also items that are not found in the design that need to be included. So if you come over and you say, well, okay, I'm, I'm going to alter this design. So let's add in a couple of more components. Uh, this is obviously going to have an impact on the price. Uh, so we'll add in some stuff here and let's add in something that um, uh, maybe doesn't exist uh, within the model, just as a, a, a reference. We'll add in a couple of, of other names that just, are not associated with this. Now let's go run this again. <clears throat> and again, we're, we're using an XLS M file, uh, which is a macro file for Excel to be able to do this kind of, uh, enable this capability, but we're generating a new quote. And you'll notice that uh, as that flew by so quickly, um, if we come in and we take a look at the new file that was generated, we could see that we have our new components that have not been found. It's updated our costs. And it's just generated this quotation uh, very, very quickly um, using nothing but an Excel macro to kind of initiate that process.